All right, we're going to look at how we can use this Casio calculator to factor this equation. So calculators like this cannot factor, but they can find the roots, or the zeros, or x-intercepts. Those are all the same thing, different names for the same thing. We can find that using the calculator, and then we can use that to convert it into factors without much trouble at all. The very first step, though, is I always want to factor these coefficients in the constant. And since they're all even numbers, I can take a 2 out. You can, too. So this would be 3x, and this would be negative 10. Basically, each number is getting cut in half. And now, let's say I want to factor this, and I don't want to do it manually. I just want to use my technology. So on this calculator, you have to switch menus. So I'm going to go into Menu. I'm going to go down, down, and over. Or you could hit alpha A to jump to this menu. But down, down, over works. Go in there by hitting equal. I want to do a polynomial, so I'm going to type a 2. What is the degree of this equation? All that means is what's the biggest exponent? 2. And now we're going to fill in our A, our B, and our C values. If there's not a number, a coefficient in front of your any of these variables, use the number 1. So it's 1x squared. Type a 1, hit equal. It says, what do you want for b? Well, I want a 3. So I hit 3, equal. And what is your c value? It is negative 10. I don't use this minus key, I use the negative. 10. Equal. Then you hit equal again. And it says, x1 equals 2. So x1 equals 2. That's our first root. Then I'm going to hit equal again. x2 equals negative 5. That's our second root. And now to turn those into factors, all we have to do... Oh, let me do one other thing. Since we factored out that 2, I want to put that out front first. And then here, if you've had a root as positive 2, you're going to do the corresponding factor as x minus 2. And then here we have x2 as negative 5, so our factor will be x plus 5. The x1 and the x2 don't mean anything. It's just how the calculator spits it out. They're both x values. And so this is our final answer. We are done. Now, it's a good idea on this calculator when you're done, and you want to go back to normal, hit menu, and then just type a 0, and that'll jump back. It's the same as going over and up, up. Oh, I lied. It's 1. Tricked you. There you go.